In this screencast we're going to investigate equilibria in acid-base reactions. For an acid and aqueous solution there's an equilibrium between the acid HA and its conjugate base A- with the proton transferred to a water molecule which acts as a base. You can write an equilibrium constant K for this process but since the concentration of water is essentially constant in an aqueous solution this simplifies the expression for Ka which is called the acidity constant. For a base, you can write out a similar equation based on the equilibrium between B and its conjugate acid BH+. For this process, you can also write an equilibrium constant K, but again it's more normal to take the constant, that is the concentration of water, out of the expression to give an expression for Ka. This is the acidity constant for the conjugate acid of the base. If you look at any acid-base reaction, you can define an equilibrium constant Kc. If you look at this expression carefully, you'll see that the concentration of A- over the concentration of HA is related to Ka for HA, whereas the concentration of BH plus over the concentration of B is related to Ka for BH plus. In fact, Kc is equal to the acidity constant for HA divided by the acidity constant for BH plus. Let's show this. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Then, if you cancel out the two concentrations of H3O+, we have the expression for Kc. As a next step, take logarithms of each side and use the fact that minus log to the base 10 of K is defined as Pk. This gives you an expression for K in terms of the commonly available pKa values which means that you can use these to predict not only the direction of an acid-base reaction but also the value of the equilibrium constant. Let's look at an example of this. The equation here shows the equilibrium involving trichloroethanoic acid and ethanoic acid. Using the pKa values of the two acids we can predict a value for the equilibrium constant. As you can see Kc takes a value of 1.3 times 10 to the 4, which means that the equilibrium is very much over to the right-hand side.